If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Artillery series. In this video, we are going to see one of the useful utility of artillery called probe. Think of like a curl command, but with some extra bells and whistles. For example, using probe, you can display the uh, performance waterfalls and also you can query using uh, James path easily in your command. To get started, first let us understand what are the options available using the artillery probe help command. So if you hit artillery space probe space help, it will display all the options and the usage. As you see here, hyphen H is for the headers, B is to show the response body, K is to insecure, Q is for query and so on. And if you just scroll down, you can see the description where you can uh, visualize your request performance, you can uh, do some arbitrary HTTP uh, requests and so on, and some example. So here we are running a pet clinic. So this is what we've been using from past many videos. So first let us uh, send this particular uh, Warner's uh, URL. So by default, Artillery Probe uh, defaults to HTTPS unless you specify. So in this case, I am running localhost, so it is HTTP and if you hit enter, it will display the output in a beautiful visual way. So as you see here, the response header and also it splits the time and it displays the waterfall graph. It starts with the DNS lookup and at the end, you can see the total response time. And by default, it will store your response body in your temp folder. As you see, you can just cat it out for your verification purpose. So this is how you send a quick request in Artillery Probe. Now let me clear my screen and let us uh, display the response body in a pretty way. So hyphen B is to mention your uh, display the response body tag and hyphen P is to print the uh, response in a pretty format. So this will display the JSON output in a pretty format and also it will display the uh, waterfall graph. So if you just scroll up, as you see here, it has a big response and at the top you can see the response header and with your performance waterfall. And by default, it will store the uh, response in your temp folder. So now let me clear my screen and let us uh, query the response. So here I'm using the James path. So as you know, James path is one of the a popular query language for a JSON response. So here I'm just printing all the first name from the response. So let me just copy this and let us uh, send this information and it will display all the first name. So as you see here, it is displaying the array of all the first names. So this is how you query using the James path and also it supports a Cheerio and also it supports the uh, expectations, basically the checkpoints. So to check whether the particular response code is present or not or a header or regex you need to use hyphen e tag so let me just uh, copy this so this is a very huge uh, uh, cli command so basically here we are uh, sending the post uh, http method and uh, with the json payload and also we are uh, checking the status code is uh, 200 or not so this will fail because this particular request yield 201 not 200 and as you see in the expectations it is not okay so now if you just clear and change the value to 201 and hit enter this will pass so this is how you send a post request and you can make sure whether you are getting the actual response or not and here we are using the hyphen v tag it's for verbose printing basically it will print everything request and then the body as you see and then the response and the waterfall and the whole response will be stored in the temp directory so this is how you leverage the artillery probe for a quick smoke test or if you want to quickly test something for before you start the load test definitely you can use this especially the performance waterfall feature will be very helpful to make sure if you are testing the ssl handshake or if you want to test something uh, DNS lookup thing, just if you want to focus on certain areas, definitely you can leverage the, definitely you can use the probe feature. So that's it guys on my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to 
Q&A Insights Channel.